the Orion family. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regas, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm Marlene Hidalgo, science teacher in Miami, Florida. Fellow stargazer, our eye in the sky, James Albury, will join us to help you find your way around the heavens. This week, we're going to focus on a group of winter constellations surrounding Orion the Mighty Hunter. Often called the Orion family, these constellations have some of the brightest stars and most easily recognized star formations in the sky. Now, the ancients watched the sky the same way we watch TV. Get this, when they tuned into the winter stars, they saw a giant hunter with three stars for a belt being trampled by a bull with seven women on its back while two hunting dogs were chasing after a unicorn and a bunny rabbit down by the river. What? Well, let's show you. Okay, we've got our skies set for 9 p.m. looking south. The constellation Orion takes center stage with his seven bright stars. The Arabs called him the central one, and he'll play the central role in our winter sky saga. The two brightest stars in Orion make a nice contrast. Bright blue Rigel marks his left foot, while ruby red Betelgeuse shines in his armpit. The colors of the stars are an indicator of their temperature. A blue star like Rigel is hot, about 11,000 degrees Celsius on its surface, while a red star like Betelgeuse is much cooler at about 3,000 degrees Celsius. Most of the stars in Orion are blue, including his trademark belt. Not only are the belt stars your cue that you've found Orion, they'll also point the way to several other constellations. Show us the way, James! First, connect a line through the belt stars and keep going up and to the right. You'll pass just under a bright red star called Aldebaran. Look out, because this is the menacing eye of Taurus the Bull. Taurus has a small V shape of five stars for a face and two long horns. Now, if you continue past the V of Taurus, you'll run smack dab into the best and brightest open star cluster in the northern sky. These are the Pleiades, or the Seven Sisters. The Pleiades look like a little cloud to the naked eye, but upon second glance, you might be able to make out five or six of the individual stars. In a good pair of binoculars, they're just awesome. Formed from the same nebula, the Seven Sisters are young, hot stars burning the candle at both ends. These stars are so hot that they may only live millions of years, as opposed to our sun, which has a lifespan of about 10 billion years. But wait, there's more than seven of them. The cluster includes hundreds of stars with only the five or six brightest visible to the naked eye. In Greek mythology, Orion fell in love with the sisters, all seven of them. Well, the sisters fled his advances into the sky and now have a protector from Orion in the form of Taurus the bull. So the sisters are sitting pretty on the bull's back while Orion must fend off the charging beast. When Orion asked the gods for help with the bull, they let him call up his two hunting dogs. This time, let the belt stars point you down and to the left. When you keep going, you'll run into the brightest star in the sky, Sirius. Also known as the dog star, Sirius marks the nose of Canis Major, the big dog. From Sirius, look up higher and you'll find the little dog star, Procyon, in Canis Minor. Aw, oh, what a cute little puppy. Unfortunately, the two dogs aren't helping Orion with the bull. They're too busy chasing after a unicorn, the constellation Monoceros, and a bunny rabbit, the constellation Lepus by the banks of the Cosmic River, the constellation Eridanus. So tonight after sunset, go to the heavenly movies and see a giant hunter being trampled by a bull with seven women on its back, while two hunting dogs chase after a unicorn and a bunny rabbit down by the river. Phew! This is the Orion family of constellations, and they're the same stars our ancestors have marveled at for thousands of years. Orion is the key, so let his belt stars guide your way, and you'll be reading the sky like an ancient Greek in no time. Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.